student There's no need to feel down I said student, pick yourself off the ground I said student, cause you're in a new unit There's no need to be unhappy Yeah student, there's some things you should know I said student, when your grades are real low You can sing this end, I'm sure you will find Many things will come to your mind Today we will be solving polynomials. The Georgia Standard MA2A5B states that students will solve polynomial equations analytically, graphically, and using appropriate technology. What are polynomials? A polynomial is an expression consisting of the sum of two or more terms, each of which is the product of a constant and a variable raised to an integral power. AX to the second plus BX plus C is a polynomial where A, B, and C are constants and X is a variable. What are cubic polynomials? A cubic polynomial is a polynomial of degree 3. A univariate cubic polynomial has the form AX to the third plus BX to the second plus CX plus D. An equation involving a cubic polynomial is called a cubic equation. Today we will be solving using the equation x to the third plus 4x to the second minus x minus 4. Tristan will be showing us how to solve using synthetic division. To solve polynomial equations using synthetic division, first you have to take the coefficient from each term in the polynomial, which would be 1, 4, negative 1, and negative 4. Then, in order to find a factor to divide by, to find out whether it is a factor, you do the p's over the q's, where the p's are the factors of the constant, which would be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and plus or minus 4. And the q's are the factors of the leading coefficients, which would just be plus or minus 1. So, let's try one of these as negative 1. You bring down the 1. 1 times a negative 1 is a negative 1. Add 4, you get 3. Times a negative 1 is a negative 3. Plus a negative 1 is negative 4. Times negative 1 is 4. So it's 0. So this is a factor, or a 0. Um, now I'm going to show you what happens if it doesn't, if it's not a factor. So let's try 2. You bring down the 1, multiply by 2, add them, you get 5 times 2 is 10, and you have something left over as 6. Anything that you have left over, it shows that it will not be a 0 or a solution. So we go through the steps again. Let's try positive 1 this time. 1, 1 times a positive 1 is 4, or 1 times a positive 1 is 1, plus 3 is 4 times 1 is 4, which comes out to be 0, so 1 is a solution. Now, let's try negative 4, bring down the 1, 1 times negative 4 is negative 4, comes out as 0, so these are your solutions. So x equals negative 1, x equals positive 1, and x equals negative 4. Now, to graph that, all you have to do is put points at negative 4, 0, negative 1, 0, and positive 1, 0. And then you look at the leading coefficient, and it's positive. So it would be down to the left and up to the right. And then you just sketch your graph. And that's how you do it. Now we will solve using the TI-36X Pro calculator. Here are the steps to solving. Number 1. Press the second function key and then the cosine button, which will enter you into the polysolve menu. Number two, scroll down to number two, which is the cubic option, then press enter. Number three, enter A, B, C, and D in the form AX to the third plus BX to the second plus CX plus D. Number four, then scroll over solve and press enter. And finally, number five, it now lists X1, X2, and x3, which are your zeros.
Turn your calculator on, then press the second key followed by the cosine button. Scroll down to option 2 and press enter. A is 1, B is 4, C is negative 1, and D is negative 4. Press enter and then enter again to s solve. X1 is negative 4, X2 is negative 1, and X3 is 1. To exit, press the second key, followed by quit. So, no matter which method you use, you will get the same x-intercepts, which are also known as zeros or solutions. Like Tristan showed you, these solutions can then be applied to make a graph displaying your function.